I'm saying welcome back as if you've been here before, but this is my first video. I'm Marley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, it is officially back to school season. I'm not happy. No one's happy. Teachers shouldn't be happy. I am currently going into my senior year of high school, which basically means I'm a, I'm a be an adult. I'm almost legal. That's a scary thought. I thought I'd make a little freshman video for all of you little freshmen going to the big C that is high school. And honestly, it goes by so fast before I start bawling my eyes out because I'm realizing that my childhood is basically over. Let's get started. Please, like, please do not be afraid of upperclassmen. Um, I'm not scary. I, I got teeth. But they're not like shark, I, they're not shark teeth. <laughs> I don't bite. I just don't want to be there twice as much as you. And I kind of don't care anymore. That's the thing. Personally, I find a young, like, younger classmen, if that's what it's, if that's the terminology here that we're using, super funny because I didn't know that's going on, which is fine. I never knew what was going on, but I kind of got over it really fast. I literally walked in the first day, I was like, I'm done. Take me out, Jesus, when? Why? <laughs> yeah, we don't target you guys out. I don't see you as fresh meat, honestly. Half the time, we think you're adorable. Running down the hallway to get to your next class because, like, the bell's ringing, and you're like, I'm gonna be late, Mr. Thomas gonna be mad. He's not gonna be mad. We're honestly there to, like, help you guys. If a younger kid came up to me and said, Yo, help me out. Where's room 327? I'd be like, listen. Go through the cafeteria down the boardwalk, take a left, then take a right, and you'll go through another classroom, and then it'll be right there on the left. Take that route every single day. Don't be afraid of upperclassmen. We don't care. Unless you run down the hallway, like, with your arms behind you, because anime, then we'll care, because that shit's weird. Second thing, second, get involved, join clubs i mean don't go over the board and be like fencing archery art mixed media like don't go so much that like you have no time to breathe but honestly school dances as much as people say oh my god they're so lame and like football games people are gonna be like it's so stupid that's how i was my first year i honestly kept thinking like this stuff is stupid why am i gonna go to it and I regret it. I didn't go to one of the dances last year because I didn't have a date and I am still regretting it to this day. I still have the tickets <laughs> because I bought tickets. I didn't go because I didn't have a date anymore. I wish I went because I could have still hung out with my friends and it's basically a way for school to help you get outside and talk to people. If there's like a fundraiser that you guys are like hosting, go to it. Help out. Join student count, join clubs, join the TV studio out there. Do you. You're honestly going to miss it. I already miss it and I'm going there in a few weeks. Third things third, um, branch out of your friend group. And by that I don't mean just like completely disregard the second you get in there like, alright Nancy, nice knowing you since second grade but Timothy over here has got like pencil toppers. Make more friends. I've met a lot of my good friends now from clubs and talking to other people. I met my best friend through another friend. Make friend. This is like, it's so easy because everyone's in the same boat and everyone's just like, oh my god, I hope I find friends. Oh my god, I hope someone talks to me today at lunch and I have someone to sit with. It is so easy to just take your tray, plop next to someone and be like, sup. I hate my life here. Don't actually say that though. Definitely don't be afraid of making friends. I, I went to one and all of my friends now are from the other middle school. Like I would have never branched out and became friends with them if I didn't like be myself and go out and try to make friends. I legit knew this girl from a church thing. And I went up to her, we had a little like ninth grade thing before we went into the high school. And I went up to her, I was like, oh my god, it has been forever. And then now we're like super close and she just texts me saying, guess who passed her driver's license? So, you go Bean. Congrats, Boyardee. Congratulations. 
amazing people through other people and it's just a whole friendship i know a lot more people now than i ever would have i used to be super shy i'm not i'm not even kidding i had three friends in middle school and now i have I'm a part of so many little different like groups and so many different little like cliques that I honestly ev like every third person I see I know them. Study. You legit get out what you put in. I remember going into freshman year and I was thinking well as long as like I'm fine by 11th grade no one's gonna care and that is where I made the mistake. So I was definitely more worried socially where you gotta like find a balance between the two I'd say 60 40 60 to academics 40 to being social definitely study I remember my I will never forget this and I beat myself over not listening to my teacher bio teacher in 10th grade this is an open letter to you I am sorry I never listened to your advice he, every single time, like, he'd give us homework, because he barely gave us homework. I don't, I don't remember getting homework. I probably got a lot, but I don't remember it. And he always told us, guys, ten minutes every night, study. And I wish to the gods above I could go back in time and do that, because I would have done so much better if I just opened up the textbook, read the chapter over, because I would have understood frogs come from tadpoles, or something like that. I wish I listened and I hope that you guys will listen because I never did. And whatever your teachers tell you, take it as gospel truth with a grain of salt. <laughs> Not everything they say is truth. Um, I will tell you that. My chemistry teacher tried to convince us lithium wasn't a real element. So you gotta like draw the line at some point. I wish I just worked hard. N number five. Um, staying organized. We were allowed to bring our bag with us, but I had two binders, one before lunch and one after, and then I had folders for elective. I would take out, after every quarter, after the quarter exam, I'd take out that quarter and I gave every subject a file, and I'd put it in the file, and then I'd keep it until, um, finals. <laughs> Sorry if the framing changed. My camera decided to be dramatic and die. Number six. <laughs> Stay social. I my fan is on. I cannot stress this enough. Good to spend time on your studies, obviously, but it's also good to like leave your house once in a while, go out with your friends on the weekend, hang out, talk to them. As much as they say I have a lot of friends, I barely see them outside of school because I'm too busy with schoolwork with your friends playing a board game watching some netflix is very worth it calming um settling the nerves seven <laughs> find yourself but also be you at the same time which is very different basically it's two sides of the same coin who i was in ninth grade is not who i am now um i went through a lot of changes uh, the beginning of ninth grade I had super long hair it came down to here and I decided one day Christopher Columbus Day more than any other day just a random weekend to chop it all off and I just recently started growing out my hair at the end of last year it was a big dramatic change and it kinda released this inner badass that I never knew was there People change throughout high school, and you're probably going to change throughout high school. You're not going to end up the same person that you were in the beginning. Okay, you started going to school, and your main, your main thing was music, but then you find yourself super, like, into science. That doesn't... Who cares? It's you. If that's what you love, people are going to love you for it. Basically, be yourself, but also branch out. Eight, setting good habits for yourself. I think is very important. Study, 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 study. I cannot stress study enough. I wish I studied more in high school so much. Number nine. Be prepared for change. Be prepared for heartbreak and friendships breaking and basically high school 
sucks. <laughs> That's a fact of life. People are going to say it's the best years of your life, but it's really the most stressful years of your life because you're not only finding yourself, you're finding people that you get along with, you're finding who you're into, who you're not into. Am I into anybody? Am I not? Am I just by my lonesome? I'm fine with that. It's all like happening in high school and it sucks and the friends that I had in 7th grade I am no longer friends with now not because we didn't want to be friends just because we didn't see each other in classes we didn't really have much in common anymore and that's about it I'm friends with people now that make me super happy and I love them very 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 much in fact we all made a YouTube channel together I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check out my cool friend. High school relationships are just interesting because I know a lot of the time people are like I want to stay with this person forever but um because it's high school you're it's a group of people that you're forced to be with because you live close together that doesn't mean you're gonna get along with them or that they're the right fit for you. Keep that just in the back of your head keep it tucked away back there and my final little tip for you guys is do not stress yourself out. Please do not overwork yourself. Get some study halls during the day. You just sit and like read a book. Not even read a book, like nap. Like honestly, the amount of times I fell asleep during math class and I missed an entire class because last year I overworked myself. Let me tell you my schedule last year. Basically just don't do what I did last year. I had so many classes that I didn't have a lunch anymore. I had all my main classes, which was English, uh, chemistry, math, social studies, and then I had s Spanish, and then I had art classes and my video classes. And I took so many electives that I didn't have a lunch, which basically meant I ate during the school day because I just didn't see the cafeteria. I didn't go to the cafeteria. I think I went for like three weeks, and then after that I transferred to a class. It was very stressful. And I think it did a lot worse for me in the long run because I failed two classes last year. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was not good. Um, and I just didn't tie myself out that well. This year, I tried to give myself at least two and a half classes or periods where I was just sitting by myself. And I had time to do work during the school day because honestly, when I got home, I just nap. And that's what killed me last year. It's, honestly... High school is scary. It kind of it really sucks here and there, but it is really fun. And if you want to know more about how much fun it is and how much it kind of sucks, check out my next video. This is a, a part one of two for my back to school videos. So I'll link it down below. I'll see you guys next time I post, which I don't know is one. But you can follow me down below, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. They're all down below. You can check me out. You don't have to. I won't know, but I'll be watching.